is up you guys, Stevie here. Welcome back to my YouTube channel. In addition to sharing with you guys frequently what I pick up and what I purchase, I feel like videos like this can be super valuable and offer a lot of context to you guys as to what I have my eye on. In today's video, I wanna share with you guys just all the things that I have been saving up for, things that I have been gravitating towards, and things that I am thinking about purchasing. I'll walk you guys through each piece, talk about why I want that said item, and how I would style it, where you can get it, and all that good stuff. Most importantly, in today's video, I want you guys to interact with me, and I want you guys to let me know whether or not I should either cop that said piece or whether or not I should pass on it. So as the video goes on, definitely be sure to kind of leave me some love in the comments down below. As always, it gets chatty here, so do what you have to do, grab a snack, grab a drink, and just kind of relax me for a bit. And if you guys are interested in anything mentioned or worn throughout today's video, all of those links and all the information will be in the description box down below. So check that out if you're interested. This video right here is definitely gonna be a fun one. So let's dive into my spring, summer 2023 wish list. Starting off strong with this list right here. Item number one is this Prada nylon vest. You guys already know what it is. If you are regular to this channel, I am an avid lover and buyer and just wearer of the Prada brand and have been for years now. Really love the Prada brand and if not, I'd have to say it's probably my favorite brand. The price point is a whole nother story within itself, but going back to the actual piece, I've been really wanting a nice spring summer vest. And I feel like this one right here is perfect. I love that khaki tan colorway. I love the utility kind of inspired way that this piece was designed. The silhouette is 10 out of 10 in my opinion. And just like the subtle classic Prada logo, kind of like patch detailing in the front is that perfect amount of casual flex to where the Prada logo is not like too in your face but you still kind of get a nice little touch of it. Going back to the silhouette, I feel like this piece right here is gonna be such a great option when it comes to layering for spring, summer. Also, being the fact that it is a higher priced item, I could get a lot of use out of this by translating and kind of taking this piece with me into fall and winter. So even though the price point is a little bit high, I feel like when you think of cost per wear and when you think of the quality of the Prada nylon and just my affinity for the Prada brand as a whole, I feel like I could justify this price, but let me know in the comments down below what you guys think. Or if you have a more affordable alternative for me that you think I would like, definitely leave those recommendations down below as well. I would definitely get this oversized and for the spring and summer, I'd probably just wear a basic tee underneath with some workwear pants or even like workwear style shorts and some sneakers and maybe a hat. And then if I were to wear it and bring this piece into fall and winter, hoodie underneath, workwear style pants, some boots, an overcoat, over the whole entire outfit to get that nice layering vibe going and then beanie at top. Definitely a steep price tag, but let me know what you guys think. Should I cop it or should I pass on it? I'm going to New York at the end of this month and ALD is definitely on my kind of like checklist of places to go to. With that in mind, these next two pieces are definitely on my wish list from ALD. I am talking about their denim jacket as well as the matching denim pants to make it a overall denim set. So the reason why I want this set right here specifically, I want it as a set is I would of course wear it as a set. So the denim jacket and the denim pants together with maybe some sneakers and then just a simple basic white tee underneath and then to kind of just make it a full ALD fit I would probably wear it with one of my ALD new era caps kind of just get that really nice casual flex going I feel like a denim on denim look is going to be super just on point and really big this season and I have yet to find pieces to kind of play into that trend and I really want to I feel like there's something about an all denim look that if you get it right it lands and it just is such a banger in my opinion so what better way to kind of play into this trend and to kind of get an outfit going none other than some pieces from ALD. I have a few pieces from them and that brand and the quality is through and through in my opinion. I love just the overall ALD branding, the social media presence that they have and the storefront in New York is obviously nice. And it's interesting because I don't like the pieces individually, but I love them as a set. And I don't know if that makes sense, but that's just kind of how I'm like envisioning the outfit. It has to be a set. And so I can't just get the denim jacket or the denim pants. I have to get both. And so I'm hoping that they have stock for me when I do visit their store, when I go to New York at the end of this month. And yeah, just let me know in the comments down below if I should get it or if I should pass on it. 
Next up on the wish list is an item that's a little bit more on the practical side, and that is a new phone case. I'm the type of person, if I'm being completely transparent, I just be gravitating towards really cheap cases for my phone, or sometimes I just be rocking my phone with no case, and that is definitely not the most smartest thing to do. So I went ahead and got some cases from Case to Five. I have three right here. I have a clear, and then for a kind of a more nicer, dressier touch when it comes to kind of like accessorizing with my outfit, I got two leather ones, one in navy blue, and then I also got one in just a brown colorway. Shout out to Kesify for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. If any of you guys are just looking for high quality, amazing cases that come in a ton of different colors, design, they also offer their cases in a wide assortment and a wide variety of different sort of phone models. So I personally have the iPhone 14 Pro Max, but if you have another phone model, of course, check their website. I'm sure they have something for you guys. These cases right here are amazing and I'm so excited to finally get my hands on them. I've heard nothing but great things. The reviews of the case Casetify cases are just truly 10 out of 10. They're amazing. Casetify uses old phone cases, manufacturing scraps, and plant-derived bioplastics to make a phone case material that's just as durable as other plastics, which of course is way better for the earth. And I love supporting brands that, that sort of have that mentality when creating products. The Casetify cases provides up to a 21.3 feet drop thanks to their EchoShock cases. And not to mention, in addition to offering protection, they also have just amazing designs, over 2000 prints and customizations that you guys can choose from because even though it is a phone case, it doesn't necessarily have to be boring, which is something I really love. Your phone is an investment and it should be treated as such, especially if you guys are like me, constantly using my phone, taking photos, taking videos. And so in case if I definitely comes through with just that. I especially really love this navy blue and right here, I feel like I'm gonna get a lot of wear out of this. You guys can head to the first link in my description box down below, which is going to be caseify.com slash Stevie Sole. So you guys can get a 15% off discount off of your Casetify order. Again, that's caseify.com slash Stevie Sole for 15% off your Casetify order. Thank you again to Casetify for sponsoring today's video. Now let's dive into the rest of the items on my wish list. In the very early days of my YouTube channel, I used to love wearing a leather jacket. And I feel like because I did it so much in the earlier years and earlier stages of my YouTube channel, I kind of got sick of it. And so now that I haven't been wearing a leather jacket and I don't even own one in general, I feel like there is that void that's missing in my closet. And I found the perfect one from Acne Studios. The price tag, again, this is, there is a reason why this video is a wishlist video. <laughs> these price tags are insane. And so it's not to say that I'm going to get these pieces. It's more so just to show you guys kind of things that I have my eye on, the style of it, things that I'm wanting for this spring, summer season. So price aside, just like focus on the silhouette and the style of the pieces. The price is kind of a whole different subject and a whole different story. Diving back into this piece right here, again, Acne Studios oversized distressed leather jacket with that nice little Acne Studios detailing in the back. This silhouette of a leather jacket because I like the kind of traditional leather jacket moto situation with the collar, the nice use of zippers, the distressing on this jacket is amazing. It almost kind of makes it look vintage and worn in, which is exactly what I'm looking for. My pet peeve when it comes to leather jackets is it's really hard to find one that doesn't have that belt that's around the waist. and. I don't personally like that for me, and this jacket over here doesn't have that. I feel like the price tag is just so steep, so I'm hoping I can find a cheaper or more affordable alternative. But if not, I might just I might just have to do it. So let me know in the comments down below if you're like, bro, that, that price tag is way too steep, or I don't know, just let me know what you think. But nonetheless, I feel like it could be such a vibe. This with just a white basic tee underneath, tucked into some crop trousers, and then to kind of get that nice juxtaposition going from the heaviness of the leather jacket, I probably pair it with just some really nice, clean sneakers, thick, chunky socks underneath the trousers, and then a hat, and just wear it super low, kind of get that nice casual flex going. Um, so yeah, just let me know what you guys think, and if you have any more affordable alternatives, that's probably the more smart thing to do, so let me know if you guys have any suggestions. I personally love this bag. I feel like it's going to be so, this could be such a great sort of moment and just sort of just such a great accessory to amplify and kind of elevate your spring outfits. Price tag is steep, but I feel like I keep saying that we're going to kind of disregard the price, but it's kind of hard to disregard the price, but I digress. The bag itself is such a hit and I can see myself wearing an all black outfit with this and just kind of having the bag let do all the talking or even an all white outfit with this bag could be super sick, or an even all denim outfit and then having a denim bag on top. 
come on. I, I just, there's something about this bag that is just, I just want it so badly. As I'm talking through it, I guess this is probably going to be a pass for me, but I did want to mention it if any of you guys are, I don't know, you got some extra money somewhere, or if you're like, ah, oh, fuck it, I just kind of want a denim bag and you got the check for this. This is definitely a bag that's sick. Um, but like I said, as I'm kind of talking through it, I feel like it's going to be a pass for me. Do me a favor and just let me know in the comments down below overall, what is your thoughts on the bag? If you think it's sick, you would get a piece like this, or just let me know what your thoughts are in terms of the whole like denim sort of vibes for the spring 2023 season. This next piece right here has me in a M effing chokehold. I'm talking about this. Stussy reversible quilted vest, specifically in the off-white colorway. This piece right here, I'm definitely going to get. And I just had to show you guys in this video right here because even though I haven't purchased it yet, I know I'm going to get it. So if you don't like it, reserve your thoughts for another video or another item because I'm definitely going to be getting this piece. Just from the photos that you guys are seeing and the imagery and all that stuff, we got to take a moment for this piece right here. Stussy, in my opinion, is definitely one of my favorite kind of mid-entry sort of brands when it comes to the when it comes to their price tag as of right now. I feel like they've been having a resurgence lately or maybe they've just been having a resurgence in my life because I did used to wear them all the time when I was younger. The piece itself goes crazy. I love the kind of like diamond aspect when it comes to the quilting. I love how it's reversible as I mentioned. And so I'm hoping that when I go to New York, at the end of this month that I find a store that either carries it because I would love to get the experience of buying it in person and trying it on first. But I'm kind of torn because I'm like, should I wait till I go to New Should I wait to go to New York and hope I find it there? Or should I buy it now, get it in before I go to New York so I can wear it when I'm at New York? Nonetheless, this piece right here, 10 out of 10, it checks every single box for me, fit, silhouette, aesthetic, vibes, practicality, the, just the fits that I, I'm just envisioning in my head right now is gonna be so crazy. And for a price tag of 195, personally for me, I feel like I can justify that price. And compared to just all these other brands that are coming out now and or have been around and they're not necessarily OGs like Stussy, for an OG brand like Stussy to offer us such an amazing cut and sew, like well thought out piece like this for the 195 price tag, in my opinion, is just crazy and this piece right here, out of all the pieces that I mentioned in today's video is my personal favorite. And if you're going to kind of look into one specific piece, I'd highly recommend checking out this one right here. It also comes in black if you're not a fan of the white slash off-white vibe. But yeah, you will definitely be seeing fits from me featuring this said vest coming very soon. Second to last up on the list, we have this simple logo tee from Acme Studios. My homie Nils, he's been on my channel before we go way back. He's one of my like OG homies. He has this shirt and every single time he wears it, I swear to God, like I just be complimenting him like crazy. I love the fit, I love the wash, I love the silhouette. And even though it is just a basic logo tee from Acne Studios, I feel like because I have seen it in person and I have tried it on in person as well in the white color. If you guys missed my vlog um, from like a couple weeks ago, you should watch that because I tried it on in that vlog. Anyways, the shirt itself is crazy. It's nice and heavyweight. The collar is nice and tight and thick, which I personally really like. It has somewhat of a drop shoulder because the shirt by itself does fit oversized, which I like. And it almost kind of sits a little bit cropped. I don't like a basic tee that's too long. And just whatever they did to kind of craft the fit of this shirt, in my opinion, is that is the perfect basic tee for me. If you guys, love basic tees or if you're going to be wearing basic tees for the spring summertime like how i am you know the struggle of finding the most perfect basic tee basic tees they just be fucking up in my opinion like some of them are too long some of them are too tight sometimes the neck is like too loose sometimes the arm like the kind of like stitching detail around your bicep is like too thin some of them are too thick some of them are just like I don't know, I just I just be beefing when it comes to basic tees. And so the fact that I have found one that I know looks good, feels good and fits good. And even though it's a little bit more expensive, I feel like I gotta do it because it's just, like I said, it's hard to find a good quality basic tee that fits perfectly. And this one right here from Ag Studios is definitely it. Last but not least, this item right here is the most expensive item on this wish list right here. And I probably won't be getting it just because the price of this boot is almost or could contribute to the down payment on a house. 
However, I want to share with you guys just because I do think it is a nice piece and it's fun to talk about things and dream about stuff. So this Bottega Veneta lug ankle boot, specifically in the braided material and silhouette is on my wish list and it will stay on my wish list because I do not plan to get it. It comes in at a whopping price of $4,200 and I don't know about you guys, but you will never catch me paying $4,200 for a pair of boots. However, I can respect that it is a nice boot. I'm sure the craftsmanship is definitely 10 out of 10. It has it offers that visual interest. It looks like it will hold up for years to come. And I do own other Bottega Veneta boots that are nowhere near this price, but the quality of those Bottega Veneta boots that I do have is through the roof and I do like them. If for whatever reason I came up on an extra $4,200 somewhere, I would definitely consider getting this piece right here. I love how boots like this could be easily worn all year round, but I think the real ones will be wearing boots for spring and summer, not obviously on the hot days. Like you're not, you don't want like a sweaty, wet foot in your boot on a hot summer day, but on like the chiller days, on the days that maybe it's raining here and there, maybe it's not as hot, maybe you're going somewhere nice uh, during the nighttime and you wanna kinda dress it up with the boot. I feel like the real ones will be wearing boots during spring and summer. Maybe it's a hot take, but if you know, you know, and if you don't, I don't know what to tell you, but if I did have an extra $4,200 lying around somewhere, this boot right here would definitely be it for me. And yeah, I just kinda wanted to throw it in this video right here, uh, just because I do think it is a nice, sort of piece. Let me know in the comments down below if you personally would spend $4,200 on a pair of boots or if you're like, Stevie, what the fuck? Don't ever show us something of that price tag ever again. Just let me know what you think in the comments down below. All right, you guys, and that is it for my spring summer 2023 wish list video. Hopefully you guys kind of took away some inspo. As always, links to everything mentioned and worn will be in the description box down below. Much love once again to Caseify for sponsoring today's video and supporting my channel. Definitely be sure to check out Caseify. You guys can head on over to the first link in my description box down below, which is caseify.com slash Stevie Solly to redeem your discount off of your Caseify order. That is caseify.com slash Stevie Solly to receive a nice discount off of your Caseify order. And yeah, I think that's it for today's video. So hope you enjoyed it and I'll catch you guys in the next one. Peace.